All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, learn about rotations today. Uh, rotations uh, in geometry mean that we're going to have the same shape, same size, but the orientation of the shape is going to change. So it's going to look the exact same, except for it's going to look like it's turned or rotated in this case. And in the instructions on your homework and anything that you'll get, you're going to see that it will tell you how many degrees and which direction. So in this case, for number 12, it says 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, and remember if you're thinking about a clock, in fact, let's go ahead and write one here. Let's give you a clock so you can visualize what we're talking about. Okay, here's, so here's our circle of a clock. Okay, let's give it some times. So 12, 3, 6, 9. Okay. So if you think of a clock, okay, if you go clockwise, you go this way, right? Because when you go, when you think of a clock, it goes in that direction. Uh, and obviously the small hand means hours, the large hand means minutes, and then this, the second hand is how many seconds. But if you go the opposite direction, it's what we call counterclockwise. So I'll go ahead and write it in green here. So the green... Green equals clockwise, and then the red arrow means counterclockwise. So those are the two different directions that my geometric shape can rotate. And it will always tell you in the instructions if you're going to move clockwise or counterclockwise. So in this example, it says clockwise. And so 90 degrees clockwise has a formula, if you will, uh, that changes all the points of my shape and will help us convert it easily. Now, you could look at this and say, oh, I can rotate it myself and guess me where 90 degrees is, but there's a mathematical way to do it. And the mathematical way to do it is by knowing the formula, which is xy changes to y comma negative x. So the original point xy, when we rotate 90 degrees clockwise, the two numbers switch places, y and x. And remember, the negative sign in algebra means that it becomes the opposite. So if x was positive, it now becomes negative. But if x was negative to start with, it actually becomes positive. So let's take a look at our first point here. Point A is negative 3, 2. So when we change it, 2 and negative 3 are going to switch places. But notice that the negative 3 now becomes a positive 3. So my new coordinate for A, or in this case, A prime, is 2, 3. Let's go ahead and do B. So B was 2, 5. It switches, and then it becomes 5, negative 2, because the 2 was positive before, but when you switch them, if the 90 degrees clockwise rotation it becomes negative 2. And so C was 3, 1, but it changes the 1, negative 3. And so now you label all of your new points. So A prime goes there at 2, 3. B prime goes at 5, comma, negative 2, and C prime goes at 1, comma, negative 3. Connect all the dots, and you can see it's the same shape, same size, but notice how the triangle has rotated 90 degrees clockwise. So that is how you do a 90 degrees clockwise rotation.